What's up? WizardFu here, bringing you another video making the game Wraithbinder. And in the background you can hear some lovely uh, ice cream truck music going on, because I'm right by the ice cream truck right now. Oh yeah, you know it. You know it. So what I've been working on is um, just kind of spiffing up a little bit of the graphics in the arena, the uh, battlegrounds here. I just colored all of the quadrants according to their element. So this yellow is lightning and this red is fire and uh down here is acid the green and this blue one is um ice so um that's that and i also made the clouds a lot more opaque kind of like it really just filled in i was always running around this place going there's something missing here it's gonna have the clouds like way way too transparent and i also had a bug in the saturation translate the uh, the calculation of saturation when you go from a colors RGB to HSV and back. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing today. I should really need to be getting back to working on more on uh, the attacks. Um, for some reason, for example, like I can't use my sword anymore. I'm not sure why in this current run right here. That uh, looks like I can't even use a boomerang either. So maybe the input's locked or something like that. Um, I also got to get players using their boomerang more. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so, oh man, um, you know what I mean? Just playing around with the actual gameplay, getting this to become an actual game. Oh, I can't even rotate the screen anymore. Yeah, the inputs must be locked. Okay, finding bugs here and there, fixing them along the way. Uh, but some, you know, it's like it's cool to finally see this starting to shape up and become more more game like. Uh, there's, the, you know, you may be able to tell there's a lot of jerkiness going around with the screen's movement. I need to actually just simple, very simple, just blend the camera. And whenever I move the camera, blend it with the old position until it gets to the new position. That will really, really help this whole jerkiness going on with the camera. Um, but there you have it. There's really not much that much code to show for that. Um, but little, I'll show you anyways. I had one mistake in my HSV to RGB, and that was that I was setting the color according to its floating point value times 255 this all of these statements right here used to look like times 255 it was basically calling the floating point version of set well let's not, let's not jump to that method there's way too many gosh it's, there you go you shouldn't really shouldn't really name all your functions set uh, but I like to do it um, yeah so that was all times 255 so it was just it was just blaring out the value of the colors to be fully white almost. Yeah, no, it actually was fully white, I think. Or only in certain cases. Certain cases it wasn't where the saturation was like 1.0 or something like that. But anyways, uh, let's not get too technical. Um, and then I went and blended all... Uh, this is where I just determined which quadrant um, a ground block is. So that's the quadrant, depending on the OX and OY, which are just basically the offset X. So like negative, there's like, it can go negative or positive. And that determines the quadrant, and uh, then you got uh, all these quad colors I just added, um, which you got ice, fire, lightning, and acid. Some color values for those, and then also applying them to a, an array of quadrant. Um, you can use quadrants as an index into that array. And uh, yeah, I played around with trying to do a gradient of those, but I really couldn't get the math to work right. And then all the colors started getting looking really muddy. So maybe the ma maybe the math was working right, but it was just too muddy. I'm not sure, uh, but. Yeah, so we'll just leave that as this these stark quad colors anyways right now because it's kind of nice to be... It's it's helpful to orient yourself within the battlegrounds by seeing these quadrant colors. And I imagine when I have this all finished, um, there will actually be different um, artwork. All, all the models for that area, instead of it just being like a gray wall, it will be, um, you know, something colored. Like, or I mean styled, according to that style. So the ice will have like icy walls and... Fire will have um, fiery walls, you know, of course. So that's uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video. More progress later.